<clears throat> what's up hope everybody had a good uh, good evening um, I know we didn't come to any kind of conclusion with our uh, leader this this today and uh, most of us were saying that anyway um, you know we're not gonna know for a few days if not over a week in my opinion it's unfortunate but that's the way that it is I'm not gonna go into any details about that because obviously that's not what you guys are here for um, so I'm going to give you guys an update here on space weather. We've had CMEs. We've had some other stuff going on that I really want to talk about. Um, so I'm going to get into it, guys. Schumann. Oops. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Uh, Schumann Residence. Look, guys. Look at this thing. Um, I have to say, this is quiet conditions. And it's unusual. Now, if we'd have looked at this a year or two ago... I might not be saying that, but these conditions are like extremely ambient or mundane, how, whatever word you want to use there, um, but looks like we might be getting a little something going on here, but if you ever wanted to know what this thing looked like years ago, go from this spot to this spot. Anything in between, that's what it used to look like. You know, taking out all these looking hash mark looking things here. Um, but, yeah, it was that quiet all the time. And every once in a while we get a spike. Now we're getting them all the time. Frequency's risen. And we know, you know, we know that that stuff's going to happen. But, is it good, bad? Well, um, it's, it's both. It's everything, guys. Is what I try to say to tell everybody. Because um, frequency is everything. It touches everything, it is everything, and that's that's why this is so important to look at. And that's why I told you guys a while back, once I figured that out, that I will report on this every video. And that's what I plan on doing. Even if it's not much to talk about, I'm still going to show it to you. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, solar flares. Now, there's one, two, three of them, right? Well, um, geomagnetic activity did not hardly even move. Let me, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll take care of that in a minute. Um, but as we look at this, that up there obviously catches people's eye. And down here, everything's pretty quiet. But yet, we were supposed to be getting, you know, issues, but it never, it never happened. And, you know, the, the models were kind of co contradicting themselves. You know, one model would say one thing, the other model would say another. And we've talked about this for a minute. But um, those are definitely, they're close to C-class. I don't think they made it in. They might have snuck in there a little. But, you know, still a relatively, um, relatively uh, quiet thing that we don't really need to be spending a whole lot of time on. Um, this sunspot here. We're going to have to watch this one, guys. I'm telling you guys, this thing's going to be in front of us for over a week, if not around two. And it's definitely, we're going to see some stuff from this. This thing is, yeah, that thing's alive. <laughs> um, but what's odd is the CME and the flaring, uh, some of the flaring were, was coming from this, but the CME actually came from up here on this one. So we'll talk about that, too, because this is, this is a, uh, I think they gave it a sunspot designation, but it didn't last long. Um, the characteristics of it have already fallen off, and it's no longer a, an official sunspot. But these corona holes that I've been talking about, we're going to have to pay attention to these too, okay? Um, here in the next few days, we're going to get some pretty decent size uh, wind from this. And um, again, we'll talk about that more, but guys, whenever you look at this visible of the sun which is just right here, solar visible light, and you see that big of a spot, that's pretty intense. Now, that's going to become pretty commonplace as we get into to solar maximum, but until then, that is pretty, uh, <laughs> it's pretty significant. All right? Now, the ACE data. Everything here is, is normal, except for a couple things that I, that I noticed, and that would be See the density here? How it kind of dropped out, but the the speed went up. Now we're only talking. Oops, sorry. 
we're only talking like 50 kilometers per second and going from one to zero so it's not a huge jump at all but they did react at the same time the fly angle never did nothing the bz is hanging around in negative territory but remember unless it gets like the six seven eight nine ten if not more than that um, that's when we get the big hits that's when all that energy is being re you know getting sucked into our system because it's in the negative if it's in the positive it means it's trying to actually deflect it or it has a tendency to not come in is what I should say but the other thing that was odd to me is this okay this is the the temperature you notice how everything else kind of is staying at least consistently close to its previous data point you know a dot is a data point and they plot the next one right next to it well if it's not around the same area or the same reading it'll put it up here or put it down here and you start doing that a lot this is what it'll look like so it's showing a whole lot of variance there it's not staying steady the temperature is going up and down up and down up and down um, you know but this stuff here isn't suggesting any reason why but it's doing it, so. <laughs> In the model. Okay. This little Humpty Dumpty right here. I'm not sure if you guys noticed this, but look at the date here. 3 to 4. November 3rd to the 4th. When I showed you guys this at the same time yesterday, this was in the same exact spot, with, according to what we're looking at here. So that would have put it at November 2nd to the 3rd and then if you remember the day before it was kind of the same same thing it was showing this thing hitting us on the first in between the first and the second they've moved this thing back okay a day like two or three days in a row so whatever they thought was going to happen it got here way slower than what they thought now this is historic now this is something that's you know we're out here in time well, about, probably about right, well, yeah, we're about noon, I guess, UTC. Close to it. Um, but anyway, anything behind that line is historic. It's already happened. Look what they're predicting out here. Very, very low density. And then you go down here, again, the wind speed. If you remember, the, I was showing you wind speed yesterday in my video. They had this up over 500 at this same timestamp. Now it's way over here, you know, it's way down because it actually came in lower than what they thought or what this model thought. And this one is kind of predicting us to go up to about 600 or between five and six and kind of stay there for days. And I do agree with one thing here that um, we are gonna get some, the solar wind stuff is gonna get here and it's gonna stay for a while pretty consistent. Reason being, those coronal holes, okay? Electron flux, um, it's just, it's not doing too much to be really concerned about anything. Um, you got the, the magnometers, same, same situation. Aurora, not a whole lot to talk about here either. Okay, see how kind of even, I would call that a light day for Aurora photographers. That's not very, um, very intense at all. Which is why I'm not going to waste too much time on it. Now the absorption rate prediction here, guys. Um, this is something new and I'm still trying to make sure I understand this before I tell you exactly what we're looking at. Uh, but if you see like a, a purple flash or even green or if it's that big, um, any of these colors, that means we're getting this thing's picking up an anomaly of some sort. And we're, yep, see? And when it does that, you see this. It tells you dBs, okay? And that's I think that's millihertz is what that stands for. So we would be getting that amount of dB at that level of uh, millihertz, okay? And um, that's kind of what that looks like. And again, don't quote me on exactly what that is because I don't know. Not yet. I'm looking at it. I mean, I can read this and read it to you right now, but I want to make sure I completely understand it before I, you know, really dig into talking about it. 
I've done that in the past and it never worked out good for me guys I always had to come back with corrections and you know I'm gonna have to come back with corrections once in a while anyway anybody that doesn't is just a sit is a simple liar just telling you that um, <laughs> everybody makes mistakes I don't care who you are you will never ever convince me or most people in this world that that's not the way things work so yeah Okay, Magneto's for your models. Um, we'll talk about this as they run. Okay, the speed. Let me bring it back here, and I'll start it. Okay. So you're going to see, you know, a little bit of solar wind, but then you're going to see it get fairly quiet and stay kind of there. So watch. See how you're not seeing much? There's a little bit of one right there. But it's nothing that's too crazy. Now there was a glitch on here. Um, actually, I'm too far advanced in time here. And I can't go back and get archived data. When I looked at it a little while ago, um, it actually went to it went to looking like... Um, well, I'll show it to you here in a second. This... Uh, if it does it but as you can see density is fairly low still guys I don't look for it to come up either not for some time notice how more much more of wave that we get on this one and the reason why is because the density is changing not the speed pressure Go ahead and push play here. And um, yeah, so we get pressure out here in the front. It's building a little bit in the back. Had some questions about what was going on here in the back. There's a lot of things that be going on back here, guys, as far as pressure goes. Um, I think Rip was asking me, um, you know, with the ISWA models, have we ever seen it look like that in the back? Yes, we have. Actually, quite often. And I'll, I'll, and I'll show you what I'm talking about here in just a second, okay? Um, let me hit reset on these so we can get the most updated pics of them. Should have done that already. I do apologize. I am recording this, guys, so um, there will be no chat box in this one. Um, I'm trying to do that on purpose. That way I don't get distracted and I can get the information out to you guys as fast as I can. That way I, don't, I respect your guys' time, okay? That's the only reason. i much rather do live streams, guys. I really would so I can have a conversation with you guys. Um, I'll be doing that, you know, again, I'll be coming back on later on. Um, I'm not going to go into it, but I, I was feeling really bad last night, and that's why I didn't do a live stream, okay? Um, again, I'm not going too much into that. You guys can hear that from some other channel. There's always somebody out there whining and crying about how they feel. So, <laughs> um, it's not, you know, those channels that, that say that, and they're just, you know, saying it one or two, three times every so often. They're being real, right? Which is what I am with you. There's other people that get on here every, every video. And they say, oh, I feel bad, I feel bad, I feel bad, I feel bad. You know what? If you feel bad like that every day, I just don't see how you're bringing anything to the table here. Because nobody wants to hear that. I'm just being real, guys. Okay? And I know it sounds pretty brutal to say that kind of a thing. But it's the truth. That is the truth. Nobody wants to hear somebody get on here and complain every day. And, and I, I, I don't go back to those channels. Because I can't handle it. i got enough negativity in my own life that I have to deal with. I don't need, I, you know, just like you guys don't need mine. I only tell you guys because I'm comfortable with it comfortable with you guys and I'll say it one or two times and I'm done with it I'm not going to come back to it matter of fact I ask people to quit talking about it because of that okay <laughs> of that. um let's uh okay the CME came from like right here let's see if it's on this if it nope I'm gonna have to take this back some more on it I didn't want to do that but oh well we'll do it anyway just so you guys can see it 
This one might have went, it did good. Maybe I can just show it to you on this one. Let's bring this one uh, over here. Okay, it's gonna happen up in here. I'm gonna push play and just zoom up. <laughs> See that right there? Boom, okay? Let me bring it back so I'm gonna watch it again. Push play. Watch right in here. See that? That was a CME. Now, that could be coming right at us. It could, uh, whatever, whichever direction that's heading, I do think we're going to catch something from it. Um, not all the data is in on it yet, so we're going to have to wait and see how close it comes or how dead on it comes. But you can see this one down here crackling. Up here will be the CME. Okay, just kind of watch it right here. I'm pretty sure I went back far enough. We'll see. I think here it comes. Oh, did it not get it? It did. I just wasn't there at the right time. It was right at about... Um... <laughs> Man. I think it was like on the, at, at 18, like right here on the end. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, hold on, guys. Sorry. I'm going to back off here. Um, but you guys see that they're on the purple. That's what that was, okay? Maybe it'll show up better here on the, on the teal. I'm going to see what it does here. Actually, I'm going to... So, this is what we're going to do real quick. I am going to change this to... Screw it. Let's do it this way. We'll just update it real quick. It won't take it but a second. Um, sorry about that, guys. I'm sorry I'm wasting your time with that. I really, I'm really trying not to do that. Uh, but, yeah. Okay. So, again, watch in here. See that? I'm rocking it back and forth. You can see it opening and closing kind of like a flower. So I'm going to bring it back here and I'm going to push play and we're going to scroll up. We missed it again. <laughs> what an idiot, man. See it right there? Okay, now I know it didn't look too, too impressive, but it was. It, it was pretty pretty decent, okay? Um, we can go over here and look at it. If I can quit jacking around with this stupid thing. Sorry I'm having issues with this. <laughs> I still don't feel good. So, yeah. Anyway. This one here is flaring. That was the CME. It just happened. See how that, that has some action going on? Now, if you want to see how, what kind of uh, uptick the sun's been having, go back a year. And you see that other flare? See the thing just flaring constantly right there? That's what we're seeing on our solar x-ray map okay graph but then we get a, a CME here so quite a bit of stuff to pay attention to Did you see that that was the CME the filament you can see it rise up and leave now if you look around the edges you're seeing activity still okay so that's what we got got to uh, pay attention to 
Um, that that's direct proof that we're more active than what we were. Because if you go look at the 304 from a year ago, you'll be lucky to see hardly any of this stuff hanging out over the edge. And right now, you can see, look here on the 171. I mean, yeah, look how much brighter in general it is. So, I've shown you guys comparisons before. I could do that again, but not in this video. So, we'll look at these. I, I would imagine this is going to get a little nutty. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely, we're definitely taking some hits there. You see that? How we compressed in a little bit, even on the edges. So, um, yeah. And same thing here, guys. We're going to see, you know, these things are going to, like, agree with themselves. They always do. But what you can see here, guys, is how the energy. See, we get hit in the front. Watch. Watch this. See that? I mean, that's a decent hit, guys. Look, we very seldom see that. We get, you know, hadn't hit us yet. See how we started compressing a little bit? And even before we take the full brunt of the hit, you see how some of it snuck through. Watch. See that? How it's, in, it's behind our bow shock? It's either snuck in there a little bit, or it's actually went around the side here. Like, remember, pull the string towards your face, and it follows that string. Um, so either what we're seeing here is that we're just kind of going around our planet or it came through and came on in um, But you see look at that. I mean that's textbook right there guys We get hit watch it bend around our planet and then we push back out See <laughs> That's complete textbook That is exactly what we'd expect to see when we get something hit from the front So yeah um the strange thing is, Earth is, I won't call it strange, but it's, it's doing this stuff real, rather well. It's getting rid of it pretty good, deflecting it. If it wasn't, our geomagnetic activity level would be going up, and it's not. So the, the wind speed model here. So there you go, you know, them, they're all saying the same thing about each other, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, okay, Australian model, check this one out. Okay, now if you ever see anything on these models that you don't quite think, man, that was pretty intense, the way to confirm what you're seeing is to, pr to compare it to a, another model. That's trying to show you the same kinds of things. If they concur with each other, then you're good. If they don't, then you got to start asking questions. And, um, you know, most of the time, they will concur. But there are those things that when they don't. Now, what we're seeing here, it's exactly what we were seeing on, over on ISWA. So that's why I'm not saying much about it. But what's our proton level here? You can't hardly budges. Our wind speed. This is what I'm talking about. This it's hanging right around 300, if not lower. So why is our bow shock doing that? It's as if we're getting hit really, really hard, bouncing back and forth like crazy, but none of this stuff is showing any of that. The actual data points. The BZ only went to like a negative two, I think, at the highest. I didn't see any pole flip or anything going on with the with the phi angle, so I'm just curious on where <laughs> what's causing it. CME tracker, uh, we know that that CME fired this way because um, it's right in the front. Now it could have went in an angle, could have went down, could have went up. Don't know yet, um, but that what this is showing us is the double CME that fired off on the first in opposite directions. Okay, um, it hasn't updated since, so that's why I show it to you. 
this is extremely quiet too. What you're looking at there is all you're going to get. Not much there, guys. Okay? I mean, so, uh, there was like an hour or so there where nothing happened. And again, we were seeing this conditions for a while, weren't we? If you guys remember. It was really, you know, when we started getting readings on that thing, it really kind of like drew our eye because of what I just said. So here's the fourth. Um, yes, you can see that actually coming off the sun. But the majority of it, because it, you know, this is our view, right? Earth's down here, satellites right out in front of the Earth. So we're probably not going to see a whole lot of that CME until it gets here or gets closer, okay? Because the occulter's here, it's blocking out all the energy. We can't see it. You can see a little coming around the edges, but you know, just can't see it because of that. So let's go back to the previous day <laughs> and I'll show you when that flare happened, okay? Or uh, CME and flare. It's because it was both, I think. So I'll take you back to right about, you'll see it. <laughs> it's pretty obvious. See? Now, what I want to say here is if we could get a timestamp, see where it says 2148? If I could find a timestamp at 2140, I would almost be able to show you exactly that, that sunspot because what's happened here is. It got fired right at us. The flare, the flare itself, the flare part of it, got here in around right about eight minutes, and it hit this camera, and it inundated it with light, even with the occulter. And that's pretty common with these sun, with these uh, <laughs> solar flares. Just so you know. So if I go, if I back it up a little bit more. Okay, so it happens right there, and then look what we get. We start getting, see? Now, if we go the next day, we can see the end of it. What was what was right here is now out here. So, that's your CME slash solar flare. <laughs> okay, and it does look like most of this behind that occulter, which means it's coming at us. Now, I don't know if it's going to go north, south. It could even go east or west of us. Um, it's too early to, to tell. Only thing I can say is, yes, something's happened. Something's come off the sun. You can kind of see here, this is our side view. Earth would be about right here, roughly. And the satellite's down here, okay, looking at the sun. That's why we get a side view of it without an occulter, right? Um, it does look like that is more intense than over here. So I would say that this is part of what we what we were seeing. All right. Earthquakes. I'm gonna do something here real quick, and I've been doing this quite a bit because I want you guys to see this. This is a uh, all the earthquakes for the last day at 2.5 or greater. All right. We just had a couple of them here already since I've been talking to you guys. That's a four four. That's actually a pretty decent size. Um, there's a four five. <laughs> This one up here was a five up in Alaska. That happened. I want you guys to look at this, okay? You guys see that timestamp right there? That was just an hour or so, or two hours after that flare hit. And I wonder, I always do wonder, um, you know, does it, is it doing that or what, you know? Um, I think it does at some level. Now, I just seen a really, really odd one, guys. Look at this right here. That's a 4-4. Four, four. Now, remember, we had another odd one here. Why are we getting a 4-4 four, four here in Canada? Way up here. Where is that coming from? Why? Um, you know, I don't remember seeing too many in, up here at all, ever. To, but to get a 4-4, four, four, and we had was a 3-5 three, or 3-3 three, three over here the other day. Uh, but, you know, then we got these other ones that's going on too. But these are all normal. Now watch this. Okay. Um, you know, I've been pointing you guys over to uh, Ron Tyler's channel, along with Dutch and everybody else that talks about this stuff. 
But he said something that kind of hit home with me. And I've always thought this, and I think, you know, most people, this is, I think a lot of people are going to know this, but look at all these smaller ones. They call it swarming. So when we see these things, that's just saying, hey, listen, you know, we got to watch in these areas, something bigger is coming. These are precursors, pretty much. Um, also, he put it, he put the connection to, you know, we're getting a lot of tremors and a lot of uh, these smaller quakes around the volcanic uh, positions around our planet you know and um, so we're going to pay attention to that too but yeah so there's that <laughs> not really a whole lot more for me to say to you guys on that other than just to show it to you but this one was really kind of odd that just happened okay that was at what time yeah that happened like uh, an hour ago if that not even quite an hour ago I don't think So, um, before we go any further here, here's the the NEO people were just like screaming about. Um, again, that thing wasn't no, I ain't gonna go into it. I'm not gonna waste your guys' time with that anymore. All I'm saying is that's not, you know, you get a two, a two meter or even a three diameter, it's not gonna do nothing, guys. Not enough for the whole world to be like going nuts. Um, the rest of this stuff, yes, uh, those are pretty far away though, in my opinion. I know they're considered near-Earth objects, but you know, they're 15 distances to the moon. <laughs> Go to the moon 15 times and keep going straight each time. That's how far away you would be. Uh, so you get 12 fireballs. Again, this one's showing coronal holes. Okay, So these coronal holes are here, guys, and this is why we're going to have extended time of solar wind speed and density increasing. Okay, That's why. That's staying right there at this time, so it's it's been releasing stuff to us already. Um, so it's good, but what's going to happen is I was talking to you guys about the patchy holes, where they're not so patchy anymore. They're actually opening up, and when they do that, that means a more consistent flow of those electrons, not electrons, charged particles. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so. Um, also, they talk about that the biggest sun, that big sunspot I was showing you guys. Look, it's showing the flare here. And this was an amateur astro uh, astronomer here, and um, that's what he was looking at. He was commenting on it, and you know what he was saying here was exactly correct, at least in my opinion. So yeah, well it says right there. Look, that that one was a C a C C one class flare. So. Here it is again as it's rotating more and more towards us. Look how big that thing is. Now again, this one, that sunspot up here that gave, that blew that CME slash solar flare is no longer a sunspot. It lost its characteristics. Um, it's still active region, but it's not nothing considered anything, you know, big. But I want to show you, see this right here? Earth's magnetic field on November 6th. So, um, a solar wind is expected to graze us. Um, they're talking about this. You see this right here? If we go to, let me push play. We'll go to the 6th and I'll show you. See how that speed's getting ready to hit the earth as we're getting closer? There's the 6th. If you look at this, it doesn't look like it just grazes us. <laughs> okay? Um, and also, if I keep moving, you see that that next burst. Okay? Well, again, that happened on the 6th. So, um, actually, we would have to look at it back here. So, whatever was happening over here, that's uh, where that would come from. So... Um, but again, guys, they, they kept moving this one, and I don't, you know, because they kept being wrong. That's why. Let me refresh that, see if it. Yeah, nothing new there, guys. Okay. Yeah. See how the solar wind speed's hanging around to 300 now, if not lower. We're back to that. Um, and again, it's yeah. <laughs> but anyway, guys. Uh, hope you guys have a, a good rest of your day, good start to your week and everything. I know today's Wednesday. 
obviously it'd be hump day, so, you know, middle of the week, I guess. Hope you guys have a good middle of the week, and uh, God bless. Yahusha saves, and uh, if you drink this Kool-Aid.